Riverside. Hey! What's up, everybody? How you doing today? Um, my name is Josh. I am a sentient sack of meat! And with us today, we also have uh, Fry. Hola, chicos. Holler chicos, back. chicos. Salute, salute to Razor yes. Ramon. Uh, shout out Razor Ramon. Uh, this is Gorp. Welcome. Um, this is the show where we talk about uh, a theme. We draw uh, items from the bag. Use those as uh, steering mechanisms. Anyway, Gorp, um, it stands for uh, Good Oligarchs. Redistribute profits. Uh, we usually have some guests here. Um, yeah, Jess had a thing, and then Brooke's not here. Um, she has a wedding, actually. That leads us to the topic to it today, which is social gatherings. When well, you got to go somewhere, you got to leave your house. Besides working. What do you think, Fry? That's serendipitous, isn't it? Serendipitous, indeed. No, it's opposite of serendipitous, because people right. aren't here. No. And, well, yeah, but she's at a gathering. I, I guess it would be opposite if we utilized it for... For the context of what we're doing, right? Because it's it's opposite of serendipitous because no one gathered with us, but it's serendipitous because she's at a gathering while we talk about gatherings. Yeah, gatherings on gatherings, dog. She should have uh, made an excuse. Anyway, first topic on the show is um, before and now. So maybe like uh, before when you're younger, and now. You do social gatherings differently? I think nowadays I'm a little more uh, quiet. I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to ask your mom. I'm going to be like, Gina, is Josh quiet? No. <laughs> what do you think she would say? What would your mom <laughs> say? <laughs> Not as loud. Didn't I need a better adjective? Yeah, I, I don't know. She would say you're quiet. I don't know. You're, I've seen those <laughs> pictures. You seem like the life of the party still. <laughs> <laughs> Like the the bonfire when you get really into talk- well bonfire is a type of gathering I guess right uh, bonfire is the ultimate man. gathering maybe the original gathering. I actually really miss that yeah you're right cool. you might be I don't know you like to throw that out there I make a lot of context like that yeah first <laughs> <laughs> um, you know but the uh, original gathering was at a bonfire and yeah, people were like first people where there. did they go before <laughs> no it was definitely it was definitely trees that's where they. They were in the trees still. Gotcha. So. The trees, okay. I, so, right. But I, I think we can verify that the first ever speed dating was definitely at a bonfire. Oh, right? that's good. Yep, yep. First time you could see their faces at night, bud. That's right. So excited. Warm. Yep. Speed dating Oof. because you're like, nope, not you. Not the one. Okay, next one. Woo. Thank God for this fire. <laughs> so that's how it used to be. But now, what do you think is... Okay, if the first one was the bonfire, and it's always obviously the best one, yeah. About like, what's the one like nowadays? What's the ultimate gathering? I'd say like a like a, a Burning Man situation, right? I mean, it would depend on where you're going because and your age. I think factors, right? right? Yeah. I, I would I would say, man, younger me would have loved if I had known. Here's my problem: is people don't understand the level in which like I was confused at how poor I was until I grew up. Like, I did oh. not have chicken wings until I went to Hooters for the very first time when oh. I was 18 years old. Like, that didn't oh. happen. I never had a – I never had a, a hot wing. I've had a hot ch- chicken strip from, like, a like an Applebee's or, like, a Denny's, like, one time. But I'd never been around people at an event and had chicken wings, right? That had never been something, right? So that leads me to what I was going to say is I think younger me, had I been aware of this situation, and uh, the situation I'm referring to is – music events like uh tony hawk's warp tour and things like that i think that would have been the ultimate gathering for like younger 18 to 22 year old me i think i would have had a blast i would i would have had the energy the stupidity uh that's required to go to one of those things and be dirty for 48 hours but yeah i think that would have been probably a, a really great gathering now would be a, a music festival. I mean, just so, how you, how'd you go from, um, I used to be poor, I never had a chicken wing until I was an adult, and I never heard about Blink-182 concerts. How did that happen? Well, no, 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 I just wasn't, I, I knew about concerts, right? I went to my first concert yeah. when I was like 17 years old, but I didn't know like festivals for days were a thing. Like yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. Warp Tour, I, I always wondered, and I'd ask people, I'd be like, well, how do you go to Warp Tour and you see all right. those bands on your shirt I don't yeah. understand. They'd be like, oh, well, they have multiple stages. It was never explained to me that it's a multiple right. day 
experience. Like you're there for a week or four days or a full weekend. Yeah. Like I didn't understand how what I just had no um right. I didn't know about a, that ability to understand. Yeah, I had no ability to understand what that was until right. so that's how I'd go to that is like I, I have to ha- help people understand like this is the level I was at is like I had no way of um what's the word conceptualizing what these events were until I became an adult and I got to watch things like documentaries on, on things like Woodstock and stuff like that. And and I was like, Oh my gosh, that's what, um, what's the one in California that's really popular called? No, that's Nevada. Uh, Uh Oh no, 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 no. There's one in California music festival that goes every year. Tupac was there. That one. I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, Kanye was supposed to be the headliner one year. Is yeah, that maybe. That festival? Oh, he did yeah. Sunday service there, I know, but I can't think of the name oh, of the Sunday. festival. I mean, see, this is what a square I've become, is I knew what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now in the middle of this podcast, actually, I've already... I watched it live on YouTube this uh, this year. I watched it live on YouTube. I forgot what yeah. it's called, too. Coachella. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, yeah. Uh, but th- there's all kinds of them, and I think that, that that would be younger me's, right? And I feel like yeah. I'm droning, so I'm going to try to cut it short. But, like, then middle-aged me would have loved to go to, like, one of those, like... Um, like Marvel nerd fests where they yeah. watch all these, like where every, all you nerds gather together and you spend like 48 hours, just like 24 hours or whatever in the, in the zone. And you just, you're in the cage watching every single Marvel movie with like a bunch of people that want to be a part of that experience with you. And yeah, now that's older me, I don't, I, I think I'm back to the bonfire, bro. I think like that would be my thing. I, 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 yeah. I mean, you've gone out with me before, you know, like I, I've changed a lot, I think in, in I mean, how I like to hang out. I don't know, man. No, I, I think, think so. Like, I don't want to go to a party anymore. Like, if I'm there, I'll make yeah. it. <laughs> I don't want to go to that. Yeah. It's not something that um, sounds appealing to me. So I, th- there's my before. There's my ghost of Christmas past, present, and yeah. future. What about you? Before and after for you. Oh, a good before. I, I, you bring up the, the nerd stuff. Um, there was a really – Atomic Comics in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I was in middle yeah. school there. Um they would do something every once in a while where it was just an anime fest in the yeah. comic store. And it's a big store. So they had TVs at every, like, end of every comic aisle or whatever. They set up an area. And this was before, like, the only thing on TV was Santa Moon and Dragon Ball. Like, it wasn't on Toonami. Toonami wasn't a thing. <laughs> um, so, like, gotcha. they'd have these animes that were bootlegged from uh, Japan and, like, subtitled by fans. Um, they got them in VHS tapes through the internet. I don't even know how you find something like that back then because it was before Google. Um, yeah. But yeah, you go there and just sit there all day, eat snacks, and watch like all these crazy animes and you know the old stuff, new stuff. Uh, it's really cool. Anyway, nowadays I just want to maybe go to a dive bar for a minute. That's about it. Gotcha. That's your see some friends but gathering like in twos and threes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love a good dive bar, man. But you also, you know what though? That's not. I, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slap my call out you card on the table. Ooh. You enjoy Ren fairs. You like those oh, Ren yeah, fairs yeah, yeah. a lot. I fucking yeah. I love and them. you go I all out. Stuff. Well, I I wear a so, kilt and I would carry on a stick, put on some face paint, it's and fun. You paint your face. Yeah, you stop, oh, yeah. stop, stop downplaying it. Like you know, people don't do that. Oh. Everyone else. Well, you say all out like I bought leather armor. However, I do want to buy well, leather armor. <laughs> let's just let's go. You know what? Let's go shit on the Scots and tell them, "Hey, your kilt's not armor. Stop it." Okay, to them, that is a war suit that you've put on to go to the Ren Fair. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's maybe it's like confidence armor. You know what I mean? No one's gonna kill okay. you this. And, and well, no one can see who you are. Maybe maybe there's a deeper issue there, Josh. Maybe we can unpack that now that you've said that after you pull the next topic. Yeah, but our I, next um, our next uh, episode would just be about my psyche. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> no one knows who I really am. Dates going on dates. Oh, dates. Group dates, singular dates, dates with the uh, like. I mean, you've been married for quite a while. You take you went on a date like on the Facebook. I saw the pictures. You were just having lunch with the wife. That Can we go on a date? I guess. I don't know. You had a croissant or something. It's so That's weird awesome. now. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 so weird now because we just decide to do things. I suppose tonight I made a joke. I was like, it's a date because there's a pub 
down the street from our house where I want to start to meet like more English people while I'm here. Yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. A, a pub that's literally down the street from my house. And uh, so I would expect like people from our neighborhood and stuff would go drink there. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of like trying to make that my, my place, you know, where I can go meet people. But yeah, it's as fun. far as dates are concerned, I don't know. I think going on vacations and stuff, cause we don't have kids is more exciting. That's more like of a, a date environment than what we do around here. Like, well, we try to fit in dinners, but we're pretty normal people that do our own thing, which is, yeah. I mean, I guess the life you can have when you don't have kids and I'm not knocking having kids, but we, Anna and I are still in a spot where we can do our own thing. Um, yeah. So I can relate to the topic. Uh, it's funny that we were just talking about speed dating, right? The joke about the bottom oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. speed dating. Uh, because like, I never did those things. I used to go out to bars like we just talked about to meet women. And it uh, was great. It was fantastic. But I was also not shy about talking to the opposite sex. Uh, oh. I was never raised to be shy about talking to the opposite sex, which happens to be what I'm attracted to. If you're attracted to the same sex, Please understand I'm referring to that in the same context, like talking to somebody I was attracted to is, is what I'm saying. I've never been shy about about that. That's never gotten to me. But I think you yep. are vice versa. I think you are shy oh, when shy it comes to people you're sure. attracted to. Is that fair yeah, to say? Yeah. I don't want to oh, I don't want to put your business guy. out there, but OK. No, I'm a shy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. <laughs> um, kind of like a, usually it's like a meet cute in some ways involved. I, and I've never just yeah. really just approached a woman and be like, hey, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what I do, uh, by the way. And then it, it works. works every time, huh? Fuck. <laughs> you should try that this one. whole time. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. Um, dates are cool, social gathering stuff. It's I think they're, they're one of the cooler social gathering events, obviously because of uh, – what may or may not happen at the end of the day, et cetera. But like you get to go somewhere and you're intentionally going like yeah. somewhere new or somewhere exciting or somewhere that has a good grilled cheese sandwich. You know what I mean? It's just like, would you ever take a first date to a, a major social gathering? I mean, I used to take dates to church. First date. Well, that's weird. Um, yeah. Well, a was lot to unpack was, there. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's another episode. Yeah. That's, that was a, you just, you hurled that hand grenade right into the conversation and I didn't know what to do. I was like, uh, uh, do we go down this rabbit hole? I don't know. Uh, abort, abort, abort. You want to go um, to change your life. Yes. Um, Have you heard the good but, word? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, big group of it. I'm not sure about the first time around, but it's cool. Yeah. When it like, you know, it just kind of works out. Like, like uh, when I was in high school, I went to a fucking wedding, and there was a girl that was there at the table. So that was like, hey, yeah, cool, that works out. You know, impromptu. <laughs> <laughs> I think the largest social gathering I brought a date to. I don't think it was my first date, if I recall correctly. I think it was like second or third date. Uh, I knew she was a Gavin DeGraw fan, so I uh, took her. To either Gavin DeGraw happened to be in Albuquerque, right? So I took her to a Gavin DeGraw concert on like her second or third date. And I thought that was, I thought as a young man, 19 years old, I thought that was like baller to use vernacular of the time. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was like super baller. Like, oh, you're the, you're a fan of this singer. Well, look, we're, I'm going to yeah. take you right up to the stage, you know? Right. Uh, right, right so, right. so, so that was probably the biggest social gathering. Uh, it's weird. We keep getting back to things like speed. I guess, yeah. I guess, but speed dating. And then I went to like the big uh, music festivals and now I'm back at a concert. I don't know what's happening yeah. with tonight's episode, but that is, that is odd. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, you said whatever. that's a good move. Um, but yeah, concert's good. Um, I usually, when it's a first date, I tend to think about something that's more activity related. Like we're going to go bowling or yeah. concert be perfect because you're dancing and standing up and running around. Yeah. Doing something active is I think the best way to get, get a good impression, you know, you do. You ever do a little mini golf action? Oh, not on a date. That sounds good. I love me some mini golf. I've done a mini golf date. I'm, I'm man. You know, I'm. I don't know if I'm a good actor or a bad actor, but I definitely throw competitions, and I shouldn't do that, right? Because it's like sexist and stuff, especially in today's world. But like, I don't know. I always felt like it was like that's how I was raised. Though. I wanna. I wanna oh, be very. Let I was raised in this way. You let I mean, the woman win. Golly, you have. Sometimes before. I genuinely got beat. Sometimes I genuinely got beat and sometimes I let them win. Let's just say right. I never won, right? Sometimes I was yeah. genuinely beaten, uh, which were the more frustrating times. And sometimes yeah. I was like, oh, cool with it. Because 
But I think that also stems my father left some scars because I remember <laughs> I went to a fair and uh, I went to a fair and I win shit. You were with me. You see me win shit. Like at carnivals, yeah, yeah. And you saw me win like minions. And stuff. Like I win stuff. Like I'm not yeah. somebody that's bad at carnival games. I win right. stuff constantly at carnivals. And I won like a bunch of toys, right? And I get into the car and my dad literally, as I get into the car with all these stuffed animals and shit, I won. He goes, Usually the men give those to the girls. And that's all he said. That's all he said. And then ever from that point, I was like, okay, I'm not allowed to keep anything I win. I've got to win it for a girl. I'm not allowed to have oh, yeah. satisfaction of my abilities. Like it totally no. poisoned my mind. Like a hundred percent was over. <laughs> my relationship with winning things when I was out with a girl or on a date ended in that car, in that moment. <laughs> oh, that's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a, it's a, Benevolent dishonesty, right? <laughs> give, give it away the prize. A, it's good. It's such an old fashioned way of thinking, though. You know, like yeah, you well. can't win it. Just, <laughs> but, but I remember. I think that's the moment where I was poised. Where I was like, nope, not allowed to win to win. You got to win to <laughs> give it to somebody. You can't enjoy yeah. it. You've got to be like, uh, you know. So, so I think that just yeah. Uh, after that, I didn't win uh, when I was out on dates. I didn't keep the prizes if I did win something when I was out on dates. It, it went to somebody else. Um, yeah. You didn't get a chance to talk, though. What is what is dates to you? Talk to me about dates to you. Oh, yeah, we you. talked about the dates. You I think go we... somewhere exciting. I try to go towards something that's more active the first time around. I think they're important. And uh, I'm not really a huge fan of having, like, a regular place, you know. I, that's happened in the past, like, with this okay. relationship and that relationship. But I'm a big fan of just going somewhere new. That's why... Dates are great, you know. Never would do have you done think that a hike. date is if you weren't with that person? Yeah. Do you do you think a date is the most anxiety inducing social interaction? Um, I think everything besides performing, you know. Okay. Like if you're going to a talent show and you're in it, that kind of thing. But besides that, okay, you're right. I mean, you think, yeah. What's the perfect example of that is a wedding? You know what I mean? Like so much anxiety. <laughs> that's the that's yeah. the peak. The peak of the the dates is that's the, the final boss anxiety, anxiety <laughs> like explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But that's even funny. first dates and the the dates when you're like really starting to like someone, like you get yeah, knee shakes sometimes. Yeah, buddy. Bro, Captain Waddles. Sabotage. That's the only that and work. I would say when you're having when I'm pardon of me. When I'm personally having success at work or personally having success in a relationship, that's when Captain Sabotage starts to leak into my brain and I start to think about all the ways I can sabotage it because it's like uh, either I don't think I deserve it or I think I'm going to ruin it anyway, so I might as well ruin it on my terms, you know? Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like that little person. You're like almost every movie character. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to go bad. Might as well go bad on my terms. Uh, yeah, and we shouldn't. We, we should let this topic go bad. So let's move on to the next one. Baby shower. Um, I've never done one. This was a Jess topic. I was really leaning on her for this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, we're two ignorant males when it comes to this. And yeah, and I think the only baby shower I ever went to was in the Air Force for Dr. Zaxic. And I bought a bib. And that was the oh, gift nice. I gave. I was, like, up, I was like, I saw on his shopping list. That on his uh uh what are they called registry? There was a bib, and I was like, "Yeah, this was on your registry," and I bought it. That was my experience yeah. with the baby shower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did like, anything better. Uh, I like I mean, the the registries. I'm actually a fan of as long as someone curates it properly, so you can have the opportunity to contribute how you can. Yeah, but um, I don't. I would never want to go to a baby shower, but I would happily help you buy some diapers and shit. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm all for them. I'm all for them. I just don't want to go play the stupid like the diaper oh game where you, with the candy bar melted in it. Get out of here with that. Or the pudding and pills. stuff. Yeah, like that. The pin the penis on the baby if it's a boy. Like you know they have the like, and I'm just like, this is weird shit. Like you. We're yeah. weird. Humans are fucking weird. Why are we doing yeah. this? <laughs> you know what would be a cool baby shower if I could get hippie for a minute is like we still do the registry. There's still gifts. But then it's just yeah. like a guy in the corner with incense burning doing hand pen music, like really soothing. <laughs> the whole thing is just like 
but actually, like, give good energy vibes to the baby. Everyone comes together to lay hands on the belly and do some, like, real holistic stuff. And then you yeah. can also get a stroller from the registry. But, like, those type But, like, keeps the stuff. smoke oh. at a safe distance, right? Like, the smoke stays oh, yeah, at a safe oh, distance. Oh, it's, no, it, won't be, it won't be incense anyway. It'll be um, sensi. So those sensi candles, that's what it'll be. Gotcha. Yeah, because we'll someone's going to we'll be just... the shower trying to sling the sensi candle. Yeah. Always... Anyway, let's move on. Um, All right. What's next? Let's try to draw two and see if we can merge them, huh? Uh, Intertopic concert. Maybe we can drop concerts because we were, just did it. And party. That is true. Um, so it's okay. just a concert. We talked about those. Or we can we'll throw in anything. Party. But basically, just parties. So that's pretty okay. encompassing. Why don't you go? Um, I feel like I'm yakking. Uh, parties, man. Uh, we used to have some parties together in the younger times. And then uh, yeah. before that, of course. <laughs> that was the coolest thing in the world when I was like... 18 to 20 ish, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Cause that was a real school in high school. And then like parties happen. It's like, Holy people just hang out and drink and like, Whoa, you know, I missed all that in high school. So, yeah. um, went to a lot of Me parties too. and then joined the service. And then we, we did some uh, dorm parties just getting together. Yeah. yeah. Did it quite a bit. Um, I, one of my favorite times was when I lived in Fort Collins, me and my buddy, he, he would freestyle rap and I would beatbox. And we would just, it's a college town. Just walk house to house. We'll find a party. Yeah. Go in there and then like, just put on a, like a beatbox freestyle show so that like, if no one knew us, they'd be like, Hey, you're cool. Stay. And they give us beer. <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> Absolutely. I was going to say, um, I think that I was probably one of the only people that knew how painfully shy you were. Mm. And I don't know why you trusted me with this information. Perhaps. Am I allowed to reveal this? Are you comfortable with me revealing this? That you were painfully you shy? No, I don't. I, I'm shy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like I, well, I don't think a lot of people knew that about you because you are. Oh, maybe I don't. Once the yeah. wheels. Yeah, get the wheels greased up, and then I'm good to go. But if I don't yeah. know anyone, and they're new, I'm keep quiet for a minute. So, yeah. so what? What people don't aren't getting from what you just said is like uh, I, I wasn't. I I live so far away from everything. I think I went to like one high school party, and it was it was a lame high school party. It wasn't like one of the <laughs> and they have yeah yeah yeah. That. The band kids, but I, I live so far away. Yeah, I, I live so far away, and I just didn't get to do that stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, I recall like the parties we had in the service <clears throat> were were literally the parties I think people see on TV. Like they were like what you would dream about in a movie was we'd have yeah, yeah. like casino nights and stuff. Remember we played blackjack and craps in people's dorm rooms. When you were in Cali. Oh, oh no! Like this dorms. is in the dorms in, yeah, yeah. in New Mexico. Yeah. The blackjack table was right above your dorm room. That's in the I dorms. That. Yeah, and then we had Alex's craps table in the yeah. dorms. Uh, we did not gamble. Anyone that's listening, uh, the statute of limitations is up. Screw you. We spent money, but we. Uh, uh, we so, it was like five bucks at a time. Like, it, nobody was hurting. Uh, yeah. So, but those parties, like people would end up like you'd see in the movies, like passed out outside of their dorm room, sleeping on the sidewalk. Yeah. Passed up yeah. West burnt macaroni and cheese on the day room stove. Uh, yeah. I remember that happened. Um, if you're tracking two and two together, you know which West I'm talking about. All you TSFers. Uh, <laughs> TSFers. <laughs> yeah, man. You've got Gorpers. You've got Gorpers and we've Gorpers. got sad fans. Um, uh, but that continued gonna... when I went to – oh, you, you go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I was going to finish and then let me let you, let me finish and let me let you go. Sorry, I'm, I'm droning on. But yeah, these parties were so crazy. And one time I took you and Alex and somebody else to a house party when I was yeah. dating this local girl. And we went to this house. I remember you and I were in the kitchen and we're drinking and everybody's talking. And I'm, I'm, I am a kind of a social butterfly. Is that fair to say in party situations? Oh, like, I'll sure. talk yeah, yeah, yeah. I can you talk bounce. to anybody, yeah. Yeah. I think. So I'm talking to everybody and I'm like, you know, meeting everyone. And you text me on my phone, yo, Fry. Tell these people I can beatbox. Oh, <laughs> cut that. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because like I said, I did that in Fort Collins, and that's how we yeah. met people. We got free beer because we just, like, fell in with whoever's house it was. 
Yeah. And, uh, so I, I guess I just used that same pattern when I went to New Mexico. And, uh, you know, like it was a hit. It was themselves. a hit. Yeah. I also remember I got you to, I, I, I was, because I was so in tight at the bubble lounge back in the day. I was able to yeah. get them to let you one time. You were allowed to be yeah, 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 with yeah, the yeah. DJ. Yeah, I think we so, didn't make it. So go ahead. About sorry. The times I told you to talk for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, sorry, uh, yeah. I, I cut you off. Artists, go ahead. Um, no, no worries. I, but yeah, in the younger days, did that quite a bit. I, I mean, nowadays, I just don't really want to go to a party unless it's like a special occasion. I don't want to just like yeah. go out to the party anymore. I got stuff to do. Well, you were Mostly you were you sit. were saying. When, when I interrupted you, you were saying uh, when you moved from Kirtland. Oh, oh yeah. I was going to give give you another embarrassing yeah. story for me just on the uh, – anyway, uh, I, went, I went to Italy for two years there. Dorms again, same situation, just partying and stuff. I used to have a puke spot, and it was designated. Everyone knew that's where Josh goes because yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. We did a lot of uh, sitting by the uh, smoke pit parties. All right. So I like oh, that. Fire. Yeah. Back to the bonfires. I remember a party you don't know about that happened in your dorm room. Lucha uh-huh. projectile vomited all around your room, like all around your room. And uh, like exorcist. Dan, yeah, like exorcist. I, and I know this because yeah. he then walked outside of your dorm room and then proceeded to do it in the breezeway that was just to oh. the side of your room, like all around the breezeway as well. Like he was the, the exorcist. Yeah, Lucci, like he was the exorcist, just projectile all over your room and then That's all okay. over the breezeway. And then the next day, Daniel was in your room cleaning it with a with a mask on and like his gloves and he's cleaning up your room. And he looks at Lucci, he goes, you're going to help? And he goes, no, nah, bro, it looks like you got it. <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> And just oh. stand there to clean up the mess. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a friend of ours. <clears throat> yes. He's probably still happy with his decision and his actions. Like, probably. <laughs> um, he probably would not redo it at all. He would re- nah. remain the exact same. I like that. That's a nice way to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's dig in here and get some more going. Next topic is dress up. Put a little dress tie on. Get some nice shoes shined. Maybe get some ballet. I don't know. Halloween party. Halloween party? Oh, that's like, the first like, thing really that comes to up. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your birthday party, the anything but clothes. That was a good party. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you remember? What of, you uh, wore? I wore a uh, like suit of armor, kind of made out of uh, Budweiser ca- uh, boxes and duct tape. Okay, it was pretty nice. One of our one guy co-hosts. came with a, a rope made of uh, cards. It was pretty. Nice. It was the best one. It looked like a king. Little card hat. He had a cane. Yeah. No, it looked. Uh, it looked like he bought it. To be honest, oh, I'm sure. He, yeah, he didn't do that. No, he didn't make that. He found that in the pawn shop or something. It, it was the most unreal costume I've ever seen. It was, yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, one of our co-hosts, Jessica, she showed up in a trash bag bikini. So she had a trash bag bikini on. I had a, so I found a bed in a bag under bed my, bag. yeah, under my bed. So I took the bed out of the bag. And I wore the plastic bag, and I went to Walmart. I bought different colors of duct tape because they had like seven different colors of duct tape. I and I that, duct taped yeah. like a bunch of different colors onto the bed of the bag, and then I yeah. built a sword out of the rest of the duct tape. So I was like a Spartan in a bed the nice. bag. And that's what I wore was a bed the bag. Uh, one of our friends, Wilson, I remember I went to his room and he was like crying, like he always cries because he's a little baby because he couldn't figure out what to wear to your. He's like, I'm just not gonna go. I'm just, I'm just not gonna go because I can't figure out what to wear. And I'm like, I was like, literally, you can wear anything but clothing. Like, you have so many options except for clothes. I mean, just and uh, I think I ripped a sheet. Well, I ripped a sheet off his bed and I put him in a toga, and that's what yeah. he wore to hear anything but clothes party. Toga is a safe bed. Poor guy. So, Jeez. you that's started somewhere anxiety. else though. Dress up. Tell me about that. Oh, I, Joseph, I, 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 that's a great, that was a great direction you went um, with the Halloween yeah. costumes and stuff. Uh, but uh, definitely just like, I was thinking more like uh, going to the office Christmas party and you put on the, you know, you put on the the, the pointy, spy, uh, shiny shoes and the nice slacks and get the get the thing going. You a fan of that? You an overall wear guy? You were going to say the pointy shoes. I was like, what the fuck are you going to your ho- holiday party as a witch? What the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah. Uh, no, like real pointy <laughs> dog, steel tip pointy man. 
Well, Ostrich. You, like Oxfords and the loafers and whatever. Uh, Steve I've Mance. only been to a few of those. I try to avoid those things like the plague. Uh, they're not where I do my best work because it's not an environment that I enjoy too much. You're sat at a table usually at those with a bunch of other people. Uh, everyone yeah. wants to talk about work, which is kind of yeah. annoying. So yeah. I would say, like, though, my dress-up party, I went to a New Year's Eve party one year that was James Bond-themed. Perfect. That was really cool. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool. I, I had, like, a little black bow tie with, a like, a white shirt. Blazer. Vest. Yeah. Black blazer, slacks. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was a it was a eventful night for me. So uh, I can't go into it. That's another topic for another time. But that that was a dress up party. Do you have anything like that? Well, uh, I mean, there's always an opportunity to dress up for stuff. But like, uh, yeah, I went to uh, when I worked at Chili's. The human resources lady needed someone to go with her to the Christmas party, and it was okay. for the, the the corporation of. Chili's that Chili's was attached to somehow, but it was like in a kind of like a mall, but a fancy one downtown, really fancy uh-huh. version of a mall. Anyway, but it was all just like wandering around, getting free wine and oysters and all that. I was pretty slick, you know. It's nice to do the dress up once in a while. Gotcha. I haven't had a, I haven't had a button up shirt in years though. Like I haven't dressed up for quite some time. I have to wear one every week. <laughs> Yeah, tough break, bud. All, All right, life. next topic. Let's break this chain and move into another topic. Excuses. How do you get out of it? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sick. I'm like sick. my voice sounds funny right now. <laughs> like to anyone that's listening, like I'm all congested, and it's funny because yeah. I tried to chug a bunch of Nyquil, and I was like, I'd rather look tired than sound sick. Didn't work. Nope. My congestion was like, you're gonna sound stupid. All right. So no, six. What about too. you? Let's rapid fire. Sick. You go. Oh, uh, dog died. Dog died. Uh, wife that's sick. Fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> but no, that's a good one. Uh, wife sick is good. Wife sick is good. Because you're like, man, I got to stay here. I'm sorry. I got to stay here. I wish yeah. I could go. I mean, something came up. That's very vague, but sometimes Just it something came up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car trouble. Don't want to. Oh, just, that's so blunt. Hey, you, I've done it before. You're, you're invited to this. You're invited to this. You're invited to this thing. I'm not going. Not gonna. <laughs> nah. Um. Okay. Just not going. Oh, I'm out of town that week. Oh, that was today. Oh, fuck, dude. I can't do it today. That's yeah, pretty good. You're um, up. Or excuses as Throw to why you me. leave. Or excuses as to why you. Yeah, you gotta keep I'm going. We do that. Let's see what we're up. We I already did car trouble. Oh, uh, police. The police. <laughs> <laughs> you got arrested so you couldn't make it. No, no. You just say, police, man. Man. <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, oh, bro, I, I took a nap so I'd be fresh for your event, and I swear yeah. I slept through like six alarms. Look at my phone. I set like six alarms just to be there. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. And I slept yeah, through yeah, yeah. it. Uh, I used to love doing homework. I can't go. I got homework, but that's long gone. <laughs> I don't know, man. We go to. I'm about to start a master's program. We go to school later yeah. and later, so homework might might do the trick. I don't know. You win. You win. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of excuse. You're the ultimate excuse right. maker, sir. You, <laughs> you win. Um, All right. What's next? Funerals. The worst. Sometimes good food, though. What What pops into your mind immediately when you get that for social gathering? When you get funerals for social gathering, and then I'll go. What ideas do I get from funeral? Oh, well, uh, no, just like no. Um, no. So many ideas from funerals. No, no, no. Like when we're referring to in the context of social gathering, what's the first thing that yeah, pops yeah. into your head? Oh, yeah. When you go to someone's house that smells a little weird, you probably bring a casserole. You hug a lot of people. A lot of people say the same thing. Like, well, how could this happen? You know, and uh, try to find a place to get high. Okay. Let's just smoke some weed so, on the street or something. Uh, get high for this. So I've got to spin off of what you said. But what pops into my head immediately is wedding crashers, Will Ferrell. Where he tries to pick up women at the funerals, and he's like, "I'm telling you, bro, I'm making a killing." And then that scene where he's like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah. So, so that's the first thing I say. And the other yeah. thing that, because based off of what you just said, is um, when everybody's like, "Oh, crying." So how does that? Is when people always want to eulogize somebody positively, like after they're gone, like with shit you they Google never it, said bro. to that person while they were yeah. alive. Like you know, yeah. they're like, "Oh, you know, Brett's a shithead." 
I, I hate Brett. Brett's the worst. And when they die, you know, Brett was a good man. Brett yeah. Was, it's, why you did know, you tell well, Brett that? Well, man. Brett was <laughs> like, why did you tell yeah. Brett that? So do you ever see that? Like people eulogizing people after they're gone as opposed to like celebrating them while they're alive? No, uh, not in particular. Okay. But what that does remind me of is the opposite where like a, a legend of theater dies and everyone's like, well, he sucked though because he did something mean to a lady. <laughs> and this is not to get into that. I'm all again, I'm all for <laughs> yeah. women getting justice. Um, yeah. But I mean, opposite of that would be when someone was a legendary icon and, you know, doesn't, it's weird that everyone praises them for so long and then all of a sudden the axe comes down. And we can't. I think what you're saying is we should still separate the art from the artist in those moments. When we can, when we can, we, you know. Okay. There are some instances where if you're a comedian who talks about family issues all the time, then if you did something wrong that was family related, you know, maybe. You yeah, can't no, like like that. Bill Cosby can go right the fuck to hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you're you're America's father, and you're raping women. Like I, I can't separate them. I'm sorry, I'm never gonna listen to you again. Sorry. Yeah. Can't. You're you're a total pos. Yeah. But then you know, John um, Lennon beat up women. That sucks a lot. But Strawberry Hill, Strawberry Fields, <laughs> forever. Yeah, forever, bro. Uh, all right. Well, let's before we dig a deeper hole on this one. Yeah, let's move to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Will Ferrell, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> uh, work events, uh, go over that. But uh, what about like team building exercises in the military? We both did that. Then like barbecues on the set, like you have to go to the barbecue and it's just hot dogs. Like, come I'm on. not going to lie, man. The last company I worked for before this company, uh, they did stuff, right? I mean, they did cool yeah. stuff. We went to a beach in Tampa and we played games on the beach. Nice. Uh, like, yeah, we did like cool stuff where you had to gather water with sponges and run back and forth and never we did tug of war on the beach and stuff. So we just really, yeah, the, the group I hung out with before this was they, they did some really cool team building uh, exercises or work events. And, and you got to go to Tampa twice a year, once in the winter, once in the summer, it was always nice. You could do whatever you yeah. wanted really after the work conference was over. Uh, we did stuff like they went to like a strip mall with all these restaurants, like a renovated strip mall. And it was just all built into restaurants. So, so that was pretty cool. But yeah. But what's yeah, your yeah. experience with that? Well, like I said, the the military ones are the ones that stick out. Um, yeah. Because a lot of them were so forced. Like, I remember my lieutenant <laughs> put together this major thing. It was supposed to be, like, wing-wide party. And it was a really dope location yeah. in Italy, like a, an event center in the, in the woods of Italy. Uh, big, huge yeah. event. Super fun. But, like, when I got there, I found out that I was working the event, like, Okay, I'll move the tables, and you know what I mean. Like, it, yeah. it'd be nice if that's bad form. Yeah, I mean, if you told me I was working the event, that'd be fine, Lieutenant. But like when we got there, he's like, "Oh no, no, I need you to undo all these chairs," and you know, blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> it sucks because you can't say no. You right. know, like, and yeah. the thing is, and, and it's not—it doesn't change in the civilian world. Like, I, I've never been put in that situation because I just won't go in until everything's set up. <laughs> like I won't show up early. I'm just like no, I'm not because nice. I know my size. Like and I know like what people see me and they're like, yeah, they're like let that guy, yeah, come help me lift these tables. I'm like I'm just not gonna fucking go until every right. like I would show up to Christmas parties like right when dinner served because I'm like no because yeah. I know you guys are gonna try to get me to set this shit up and I I'm gonna end up sweating everywhere and I'm not I'm not doing it. <laughs> you won't even set the table. Yes. Yeah, that's heavy. So uh, I I, yeah, I would avoid that like the plague, but I know exactly sure. what you're talking about. Like that's a bad leader yeah. too, by the way. So if I have any leaders listening, you're a terrible yeah, yeah. leader if you do that to people. Like you're just. But bad. you know, Lieutenant Bogard, you were what 24 at the time. I don't blame you. Whatever. I don't blame you. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you, Bogart. Bogart. Stop Bogart in my friend's time. Hey. And why don't you do your job? Yeah. But there have been some uh, good ones, though, uh, like uh, yeah. holiday parties and stuff. At uh, when I worked at some fancy restaurants in Portland, we, we threw a, a real holiday party. We made some dope food. We just had a bunch of wine, like top shelf wine. I was hung yeah. out. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it does really. Those good. Those are always the best. Yeah, when it works yeah. out, those are always the best. I think we got sure. time for for one more topic. How do you want to handle okay. it? 
What do you uh, want to do? Because we did rapid fire. fire. Well, let's pick. Let's do a three pick. We we'll usually do a two pick. We have three picks now. Okay. So let's talk about pick three. Uh, um, family thing. Okay. Okay. Like family dinner or uh, emergencies. Yeah. And then uh, the playlist. So party music. Oh, and then finally, got all okay. Oh, what's sorry. Oh, what's that? Karaoke. Oh, okay. I think we should go karaoke. Don't you? Yeah, we could. I I wanted to save that one for a Gorp episode down the road. I think there's a lot to talk about with karaoke. But go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. No, you I think you're right. Uh, we can just do an intro, perhaps. Maybe this is yeah. a spinoff. Uh, there we go. Get it? Jumping off point. Uh, yeah, karaoke. I love karaoke. I spent, I, um, I, I did it almost every week for two years in Italy, and then in Portland almost every week I did karaoke there too. It's just so fun. Everyone's uh, having fun. Even if you sing bad, everyone cheers for you. It's great. I hate karaoke, to be clear. Yeah. I, I hate listening to people sing that I didn't want to listen to sing. I wanted to hear <laughs> the music play that was on the radio. Uh, I'm going to sound like such a dick. Like, unless I specifically asked you to do a song, I don't yeah. fucking want to hear you sing a song. Like, and I know uh, I'm a total asshole. I'm a total asshole. I'm, I'm such a jerk. I'm so unnatural in that way. And I'm built in a weird way. But let me be real with you. If you go, like, hey, did you like that? And I say yes. I just fucking lied to you. Like, I just <laughs> lied. And I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, um, devil's advocate, you do have a karaoke machine. <laughs> motherfucker like you have to, i do bring it, i do bring it to stuff Be so because people love it people love doing it i'm just yeah. i'm trying to have some transparency here and just be honest and be like look no i never want to do it but i know you fucking guys do so i brought this machine yeah, so you could all have fun and i'm gonna fucking chug this beer funnel until i can't hear you anymore uh but <laughs> it's fun, but uh, it's a nice way to <laughs> relax and unwind with people, but I mean, I, I understand. I get what you're saying. It is kind of a strange I, phenomenon. I want to like it, man. I want to be very clear yeah. about that. Like, I want to. I just don't. I just right. don't. It. Like, I see the fun. I want to be a part of the fun. And then the second the fun starts, I'm like, I hate your fun. I hate it. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Um, but, but I do understand... Uh, the cultural impact that it's had, not just in yeah, yeah, America, yeah. but around the world, right? Like, I get it. Right. Um, and you're right. Well, I do have a karaoke machine. But, but you played a role in ruining karaoke for me as well, which was like, uh, we're playing rock band, which was like the ultimate karaoke. Uh, and I was like, oh, I really want to do this song. And you were like, no, we're not doing that song. I was like, why not? And you're like, because I do not want to hear you sing Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You're right, though. See, you gotta, there's a the other side of the coin. Some people just can't hit it. I can't hit it. Bon Jovi's hard to sing. But it's a fun one. It is a fun It is fun. And you shouldn't be shamed into not saying, I take that card. So, so, so there's a couple of them. Like, well, what's, what's a bad karaoke story for you? We'll end on this. A bad karaoke story for you. I'll give you my uh -huh. bad karaoke story. Okay. And then we'll, we'll let you do the, the where they can reach us stuff. Oh, sure. Well, uh, mine is two stories, but they're the exact same story. So twice this happened to me where I'm singing a karaoke song to a girl, doing the yeah. eye contact and all that, being romantic. And it's that's disgusting, by the way. But um, I thought it was, like, romantic at the time. So I was, like, singing the song all lovey-dovey. I don't know the words, and I can't – I don't remember how it goes. Like, the first time uh -huh. it was uh, – some Beatles song, Let It Be, maybe I was doing Let It Be, and I forgot how okay. high it gets. So, so my register was cracked the whole time. It was terrible. Second time, uh -huh. I didn't know half the words to the song, and I forgot. So I was like, hur, hur, hur. well, I'm still trying to be. It's, it was awful. Crunch. So crunch. <laughs> okay. So, so that's it? That's what you, That was your moment? That was a bad karaoke. I didn't like it. Um, okay. Mine was... Uh, Everybody was, like, peer pressuring me, and they weren't going to, like... It was one of those moments where they weren't going to leave me alone yeah. until I actually did karaoke. Yeah. Like, yeah, they were like, oh, you got to do it. You gotta, we're all doing it. I was like, I really hate it. Like, you don't understand. I'm not... I'm not. I, you guys yeah. go. Have fun. Like, I'm having fun watching you guys have fun. And finally, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. And I did Bananas by Gwen Stefani. And my oh. logic behind that was it's a talk. It's a talk song. She talks yeah. through it, right? And I didn't realize how fast she raps. 
in yeah. that song. Like, because in my my memory, I could get so, that. It was, but it was like oh. the drunk parts of songs that only drunk people remember. Oh. Right? Once we got to a few times been around that track, and it's not just gonna happen like that because there ain't no yeah, holding yeah, back, yeah. girl. And then this shit is bananas. B A N. Yeah. I could get that, but it was the actual lyrics to the song that I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't Taking think that the people. You would hear. Yeah. That was the, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, and I just hummed my way through the whole song, and it was like. A, and I was like, this is why I don't do this. This yeah. specific reason is why I do not do this. <laughs> so that was fine. But that is worth talking about, though. Uh, maybe when we bring it up in uh, a karaoke episode, like how there's a few things that culturally just get forced on you. Like, oh, no, you have to sing. You're going to sing tonight. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, no, you're going to you're gonna have some of those vegetables. I don't give a fuck how long we're at this table. You know, when the, when the parents make you <laughs> There's eat always vegetables. a person firing you shots, too. Hoping that it'll loosen yeah, yeah, you yeah. up and change your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get them so, it's weird. We forced on people. But it's so, weird. so anyway, Josh, where can they reach us? Oh, we are at Gorp Show on Twitter and the Gram. And I'm at JR Berkeley on Gram. And we are at the Sad Fan on uh, Twitter. You can reach me there at the Sad Fan 12. Pardon me. And you can reach me there. And then you can reach the Sad Fan videos at the Sad Fan Podcast Network. On YouTube, yep. we're also oh, all yeah. over Spotify with our link tree. And you can find our link tree on our uh, show page, which is going to be the Sad Fan Cast on Twitter. So please, please, please follow us. And if you're listening to this, just know I love the song you sang. <laughs>